Hello and uh, welcome to uh, the first daily news live at Cat Secure Connections 2015. Um, we are here uh, with uh, Claire Delongeau, who is our exhibition director, and she has a, a quick word for you. You are all aware of the tragic events in Paris this weekend. Today, we first wish to extend our sympathy to family and friends who have lost loved ones in the attacks. We wish also to express our pride and appreciation of all those who protect us, us and our liberty. We are delighted and grateful that you all are here today in Paris with us to show our common determination to go on. This is why I'm more than happy today to welcome everybody at the 30th edition of Cut Secure Connection. Thank you very much, Claire. We are indeed very happy to welcome you all here. And uh, to begin with, let's have a look at the gates opening this morning. will be here this year. We have increased security measures, of course. And you will be able to uh, see Obertour Technologies, who are present here in Hall 3, Gemalto, and also Morpho. As you can see, Obertour Technologies, Infineon Technologies AG, and Trust Data Card Group, ST Microelectronics, Worldline, Ingenico, Vasco Data, Security, Verifone, Spire Payments, American Express and Discover, and so many others. It's just a little tasting sample of the 400 exhibiting companies who are with us this year. So you know why we are very happy to celebrate 30 years of the world's leading trade show for secure payment, identification and Mobility. So an exceptional program awaits you during these uh, three days, uh, starting here at Innovation TV. I will tell you all about the program in a minute. And you will uh, discover the Innovation Playground, where uh, future innovations and applications are showcased. The Sesame Awards ceremony, happening tonight. International business meetings. And of course, the opening summit that took place this morning and finished not so long ago. So for those of you who couldn't be there, let's have a little uh, video of this summit. And to allow us to pursue the consolidation of this industry in Europe for the last year. The opening summit is a prime event during which leading figures in the digital security industry were brought together alongside Yuri Levine, who was sharing their perspectives on the latest developments in technology and the major trends to come and to decode today's key challenges in payment, identification and digital security. So I'm very happy to uh, welcome Jean-Noël Georges, Global Programme Director at Frost & Sullivan. Hello Jean-Noël. Hello Marc-Antoine. Welcome. And um, you were also our Opening Summit host, so you're the right person to talk to, I'm sure. I hope so. What did you discover this morning during the opening summit? I think I discovered two major things. The first one is to have a specific speakers, and Yuri Levine was a really great speaker, and he was describing mostly how to be an entrepreneur and how to have major things regarding startups and to develop business. And then on, in the second part, uh, I discovered many areas, different areas, that are finally uh, complementary. Okay. And could you tell us a little bit what the, uh, the major trends that are coming our way in the, in the near future? So I, I mentioned that this morning already, but if you, if you are back to the opening summit, you will see that from the four major speakers we had, two were referring to payment. So definitively payment is the key vertical this year. Okay. So we are into the payment, and, and, and is it the only specific area that shall be impacted? 
Of course not. Okay. And no, it's <laughs> yeah, it's it's quite important, and and this is, this is why we had two other speakers. Um, maybe to quickly summarize, we can say that uh, data privacy. We can say that trust, uh, digital identification, and trusted transaction are keys. Whatever it is in the Internet of Things, big data, payment, whatever you will use, these keywords are keys this year. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Jean-Noël. And um, remember, the Innovation TV is located in Hall 3, and we are live from Card Secure Connections. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Martin. Uh, now we'll have a look at the uh, conference program that awaits you for the next three days. So today, for example, the main um, themes were HCE and tokenization, uh, what role for the secure element, uh, also biometric ID, the future of passwords, very interesting subject, EMV, the best way to reduce fraud. We will also talk this afternoon about e-banking and m-banking, challenges and opportunities for fintech and e-money and m-money in emerging markets. And looking at tomorrow's conference program, uh, new business models, e-documents and e-ID as drivers for cross-sector and border digital services, privacy, and also money on the move with MPOS and wallets and peer-to-peer -peer payments. And finally, on Thursday, you will have uh, mobile payments, that is NFC, HCE, SE, and tokenization, uh, secure identity in a connected world, and also the connected age, wearables, invisible, everywhere but secure. It's the right question. And the future of digital currencies. So all this happening in the conference center. Um, now we have also a fabulous challenge happening tomorrow morning. That is the startup challenge. Following last year's success, Card Secure Connections and Fab no Novel are proud to organize uh, a second edition of the startup challenge and dedicated to uh, new means of payment. The startup challenge will reward the most innovative entrepreneurs in the category of secure solutions for new means of payment. Today's entrepreneurs, soon to be uh, tomorrow's uh, champions, will have the opportunity to enhance their visibility and also secure financial support. And this year's jury is composed by Remy Gitzinger, Director Consulting at Gallit, uh, Olivier Tilloy, Deputy CEO at S Money, and also Antoine Dumergier, Strategy and Development Executive Director at Eden Red. So make sure you tune in and discover the finalists tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. And also I would like to talk a little bit about uh, tonight. Tonight is a special evening because we have uh, the Sesame Awards. Um, and I'm very happy to welcome Olivier Trebuc. Olivier, you are head of uh, cloud, big data and privacy for INRIA. So thank you so much for being with us today. Welcome. Um, and you're also a panel member for the uh, discovery category of the Sesame Awards. So could you tell us a little, bit, a little bit more about tonight and presumably your category, which is discovery? With pleasure. First, I will rapidly introduce myself because, um, as you said, I am uh, since 10 years at INRIA, which is the Digital Science Research Institute. And as such, I'm involved in the key uh, challenges such as uh, security, uh, data management, big data, and so on. So it is one of the reasons for my ability to evaluate or pre-evaluate some uh, SESAM innovations. And in my past professional situation, I have spent more than 10 years in Gemplus, uh, which is now, as you know, it's called Gemalto. So, uh, let us uh, review what uh, the innovation uh, proposal in the framework of SESAM was made of this year. First, innovation is really, uh, it's not my first exhibition. I, I think the first I visited, it was in uh, 1987. So, uh, really, from the beginning, innovation, the key uh, word in uh, this uh, cart. And uh, soon, trust tech exhibition. Mm -hmm. So it is still a very dynamic industry, the security, smart security industry. So a few figures about uh, the, would say, the 215 campaign of SESAM. A few figures, uh, around 150 proposals, 
okay. coming from uh, 37 different companies and from uh, 18 countries. So it is very representative and showing that the smart security industry is not only innovative, but is uh, present in many parts of the world. And this uh, exhibition is uh, the proof of that. Second, um, of, well, it's not of course, but uh, the lion's share of the proposal was relating to, to payment. Around one third was relating more or less directly to the new payment system in the digital framework. So it is important to notice. Yes. And uh, also, before uh, providing some uh, elements about these proposals, I think that it is in, in, uh, an opportunity to reassess one of the specificities of this exhibition, is that innovation is reviewed and demonstrated through three channels, the SESAM contest, the exhibition, and the conference. So it is very, very rich and many opportunities to, to see what is really innovative in this industry. So, coming back to the proposal this year, uh, we had more than eight categories, but regarding the, the application fields, eight categories, I will not review all, but uh, payment, mobile, IT security, transport, and so on. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it is uh, valid, but uh, with the time uh, going, uh, what we see is that the merge between this category is more and more effective. So you can put a proposal in the payment category, but often it's not only payment, it is also IT security or it is mobile business. So it is still interesting to follow up these categories, but the merge of this, uh, not only technologies, but services is a very important uh, aspect of this uh, industry in the digital context. Uh, I will also provide a, a few keywords because, of course, I, not review, I will not review all the 150 proposals. But I think interesting to, to distinguish some keywords which was uh, in, the, in the proposals. I will review. I will not be very much uh, detailed about each because uh, it's, not it's not necessary and too long. Okay. First, it's not by, by importance. It's just screening the, the proposal. Biometrics, which is an important uh, technology for improving the authentication, the cryptocurrencies, because mm -hmm. one of the payment uh, challenge is to implement peer-to-peer -peer payment with the required level of, of security, so cryptocurrency is one of these um, uh, new uh, ways to, to pay. Cloud payment, because no, it's not only a question of uh, uh, point-of-sale terminal, it's also a question of uh, storing and protecting the data related to payment, and that it is the cloud-based uh, application. Of course, it's not new, but it is more and more important is the contactless um, dimension of payment, which is generally represented by dual interface cards, which can pay uh, both contact and contactlessly. Okay. So this is very in interesting evolution. Uh, dynamic authentication also. Some um, proposal were uh, aiming at uh, showing that your personal uh, credential can move from an application or from a, a payment to another one. So this mm -hmm. dynamic authentication is something interesting to, to consider. Tokenization, which is one of the secu new security ways to protect your credential in terms of payment. Wearables, because uh, of course uh, we can consider that a smartphone is a wearable, but more specifically, Smart, uh, smart watches or bracelets, which is in kind interfacing with your smartphone and aiming at providing the required services supported, supported by the security of the smartphone and of the, of the smart payment card. Um, we have also some uh, innovation in the card or device itself. For instance, multi-button card, you can activate some functionalities of the card. And one... Uh, um, I would say new sector, it is Internet of Things, because one of the key challenges and opportunities for this industry it was, is to transpose, to transfer all, an important part of the expertise, technology, know-how uh, from the past, from payment, from mobile, from security, to the IoT. So it is, uh, the context is quite different, but a certain number of uh, possibilities or features can be recycled, and that it is a strong opportunity for this industry.
Okay. I thank think you. that having said that, I'd say that. Uh, you said it all. So thank you very much. Uh, uh, maybe a quick word on the two new categories this year, because there's uh, one that's very important, the Best Joint Initiative um, Award, and also the Discovery Sesame Award, and I will uh, uh, keep uh, a, a, a third one as a surprise for tonight. Um, so maybe just a very quick word on those two. Uh, Discovery was also uh, present last year, but Discovery is really a good opportunity to uh, put the um, projector on a startup. Okay. on a very new company, and uh, as it was said this morning, the disruption in the, in the system, in the application, from the newcomers and not from the existing company most of the time. It was yes. Uri who said that, it is a very valid point. And uh, the very new, yes, was this joint initiative, mm -hmm. and it is very interesting, this kind of co-petition. Some companies dealing with some different uh, expertise, uh, who join the efforts for proving that an application is valid for a such or such uh, application. So, so that is, uh, is new and, and, and very interesting. And it is also another way to, to illustrate what was said this morning, that most of the application of the technologies of the implementation is a question of partnering. Each company by itself cannot do all the job. So one of the aim, one of the challenge is to find the good partners at the right time for the right application. Thank you very much, Olivier Trebuc. I think the right uh, theme of this daily news is together we are stronger. Yes, we are. So thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, I will see you tomorrow for another daily news. Thank you very much.